Hey everybody, welcome to an EVE-focused episode of Northern Alliance Challenge Drones in the Binding of Isaac. This is called EVE EX, suggested by YouTube user AlphaZone, aka YouTube user with the, the weird like default avatar with the spider over top of it, so every time you see it you think that there's a spider crawling across your monitor and then you inevitably comment, holy shit you scared the hell out of me. In any case, there's probably a lot of people around there with that avatar now, given how effective it seems to be and how omnipresent it seems to be, I guess. But in any case, uh, this challenge run suggestion is basically, it's entirely EVE themed. You might be confused about some of the items and the unifying features of them. We have the Razor Blade, Sacrificial Dagger, Mom's Purse, which allows us to take both EVE's bird foot in addition to eventually getting the Polaroid later. Uh, Demon Baby, and I believe that's it, of all the ones that I've, I've mentioned so far. Uh, the reason that we're using all these items is because these are the items that you get when you beat the game as Eve under, you know, several circumstances. So, you know, when you beat Satan uh, as Eve, you get one of these. When you beat uh, Mom as Eve, you get one of these, etc, etc. Uh, so, you know, kudos to the Alpha Zone for remembering all of that or looking it up on the wiki, because I certainly didn't remember. Creates a very weird combination of items. Um, that could be interesting for us. So, I, I don't believe he suggested any balancing criteria. We're not dealing with a great run to start with here, so I did skip the item room uh, on the first floor, and we'll be dealing with the item room on the second floor and beyond. Shops, of course, are gonna be uh, on the table as well. Only criteria beyond this, beat Blue Baby, have fun, and uh, I don't know how we got that spirit heart. We are also unable to get rid of the razor blade, as you might expect. Black Bean, interesting. Uh, Eve is not necessarily the most you know, traditionally ladylike girl, uh, given her now flatulent nature, but in any case, I'm, I'm glad that we're doing okay so far regardless. Obviously, this does mean that, uh, as Eve, my number one priority is usually to find a way to start rolling on Spirit Hearts consistently so I can get into that permanent curse state. We won't be able to take the, the nail, we won't be able to take Book of Revelations, because those would preclude our use of the Razor Blade, uh, so instead, I guess we're gonna hope for a relic to show up, uh, or we're just gonna get real ballsy and, uh, you know, do a deal with the devil right here if we get the opportunity and then, uh, hope for a bunch of tinted rocks, I guess. I don't know. It's not the best circumstance, uh, by any stretch of the imagination, but, uh, it should be interesting. Eve runs, uh, have a reputation for going one way or the other, shall we say, uh, for, for better or worse. Oftentimes for worse, though. As is, this has been a very good series of floors so far. Now that we have so much money, nah, the shop is still probably not worthwhile. Check out our deal with the devil. Okay, we have so I really, if I could, I would take the nail here. Don't get me wrong. Uh, that would be fantastic for us. Even Spirit of the Night, if I had one more HP, I would probably go for it. But I can't justify it right now. I would have taken Mom's Knife. I probably would have taken Brimstone. But uh, as is, despite those being two of the best deal with the devil items in the game, I really can't justify it because we'll be dead in five minutes. Uh, and, you know, we might never pick up more Spirit Hearts, given the the fact that the, we're tire entirely at the whim of the troll engine dishing out some uh, Tinted Rocks. In any case, a little disappointing, but uh, we'll, we'll do our best to kind of make it work regardless. I don't want to go to the Challenge Room, or sorry, the uh, Curse Room. I definitely do not want to play that slot machine, because I need this money to go to the shop later. I'm basically just going through the, the motions here on this, this floor. Try to get as much money as possible. Uh, I guess we're going to be fighting Super Pride, which could be awesome or horrible. Uh, hopefully awesome. You could give us a, a very worthwhile tarot card. That was uh, bad damage on my part. I can't remember the last time I've taken fucking damage against a pride variant. Probably wasn't that recently, uh, if I had to guess. Dead Bird, what are you doing, man? He's right there. We're gonna get a bicycle card, two of spades, doubles one thing of ours that we kind of don't need doubled yet. I am gonna shoot all this fire because it's possible that if this doubles our keys, it might be worthwhile. Uh, to get to 15 cents, because then we can go to the shop on this floor and the item room on the next floor. But otherwise, yes, I'm going to end up saving this. Could look for the secret room as well, and again, you know, get some money, try to double it. But I think it's better to just head down to the next floor at this point. Might as well shoot all this, just in case we get some kind of consumable in here. We get a half heart, which is not really that useful for us right now. So, uh, we haven't really gained all that much from these first two floors. We got a tears upgrade, and we got the black bean. Luckily, we're starting with uh, some fairly okay upgrades in the form of Demon Baby. Uh, but apart from that, man, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit underpowered here, which is not a good sign considering we are only on the caves part one. I would love to get the miter or the relic at this point. And of course, the more keys we get, I believe two of spades is keys. So the more keys we get, oh man, that two eternal hearts on this room? Sadly, I don't think there's any way to, oh, okay, it's only one. That's actually worse because now I, I thought we would get two and then just get an HP upgrade for free. Pretty Flies, a solid upgrade, a little bit of added defense. We're gonna do our damnedest not to take extra damage here before I can get a Spirit Heart to protect myself. Getting Ghost Baby is fine. Uh, that's a, an okay upgrade as well. Again, the extra key. 
valuable in its own right. I suppose I should use two of spades at some point. Uh, maybe before I go to the shop, which I will probably do on this floor, uh, I'll, I'll pop two of spades. If it's bombs, then, you know, my bad, but at the very least, it will double our bombs. Uh, I'm concerned. We're not doing well at all from a health standpoint. I'm not going to mince words. Uh, I would really love to make this eternal heart last. It's unlikely that that's going to happen, though, unless I manage to pick up a spirit heart on, like, literally the next room. You know, since we have the coin purse, we might as well roll with the matchstick right away. Uh, we're not saving it for anything. Now I'm really hoping this red champion here drops a spirit heart. Otherwise, this eternal heart might not be long for this world. Uh, there's another bomb. Sure, fine, that's okay. Uh, there's another two bombs, so I guess two of spades, no matter which way it works, is going to be decent. Uh, for a red chest, is this worth it? I don't know, man. We got two pills here. Uh, these pills are going to be potentially really valuable if we end up getting balls of steel from them. From any one of them, really, but we, we have to get through the room first before uh, we can really make this work, because I really don't want to Zelda them over my head by accident. Now, luckily we are on Caves Part 1, so this should be the, the easiest mob trap room we can come across. I don't think you can get a mob trap room on the basement of the cellar. I might eat my words on that one, I'm not 100% sure. And the real question is, who are the enemies that come at the end here, uh, and where do they spawn? Okay, so it's the turrets, we've killed one, now we just dodge. Shouldn't be too hard. Bird can eat it when it's on the ground, which is fine. And that'll do it. Okay, so we picked up a red heart that we don't need. Now, please, just not health down. Balls of steel. Holy shit, we're actually going to be able to make this work. And tears down. Fair trade. <laughs> HP upgrade for tears downgrade. I can live with that. Uh, let's see what we get. We're going to be fighting the pony here. It's a damn shame because I would absolutely love to get rid of uh, the razor blade to take the pony. But we can't do that right now. You know what? I'm going to be a little ballsy. I, actually, yeah, maybe I won't be. I was thinking that I would... Um, Pop the two of spades. In fact, I did. That's going to double our keys. Just in case it doubled bombs, because I was going to use a bomb to fight the pony here. But mostly, I guess I'm just going to try to stay the F away from all of the riffraff that this guy is creating. Uh, I don't necessarily have the range necessary to exploit that here. Uh, he's down there now, which worries me. Still managed to dodge that. Uh, got a little close there. I don't feel comfortable with the position I'm in right now because of that, but actually we managed to dodge that somewhat effectively. Uh, I think the pony always drops the pony. I thought there was one time where he dropped a cube of meat, weirdly enough, but I might be misremembering Conquest. Alright, we made it work. Uh, I think we still kind of want to continue going on this floor, just in case we come across a good golden chest or a shop. But in the meantime, I'm impressed with the fact that we're still alive here. Uh, definitely want to get a tiers upgrade. We're kind of rolling with base tiers as Eve, because we did get an upgrade followed by a downgrade. Uh, but I'm impressed with the fact that I managed not to take damage on this floor, but still we don't really have any way uh, of rolling with this permanent curse state, which is really the, the strength of Eve. But, you know, the fact that we've gotten a little bit of an offensive bonus here as Eve by way of, a, you know, Demon Baby and uh, the, I guess, Sacrificial Dagger if we run into the enemies and Ghost Baby, that makes Eve a little bit more palatable to me. Uh, even though she's still far from my favorite character in the game. In fact, probably my least favorite character in the game. Say what you will about uh, Blue Baby, but, you know, at least he has the benefit of permanent curse state from the... or, or permanent invincibility from the Polaroid, uh, versus Eve, who I don't necessarily feel has the, the same kind of compensator, compensatory uh, benefit. I hope that's a word that I didn't just make up right there. Uh, and say what you want about Samson, but Rage is a totally awesome upgrade. Now, we're gonna not take damage there somehow, thank you to my pretty fly and my sacrificial dagger for keeping me alive there in spite of uh, you know all the possible negatives. I did take damage there, that's okay. We're fine. We still have one spirit heart. Really just want to make sure this heart makes it down to the next floor. Now we do want one more ascent because being able to buy that ladder is a solid upgrade. There are pennies just kind of scattered around here randomly. Uh, I would rather just get one rather than waste a bomb to get one because bombs are still in fairly short supply. Uh, I, I still don't know what the criteria for dead bird to come out. Like, Eve's bird foot? I don't know what the criteria for that is. Obviously, dead bird is when you get hit, but uh, I have no idea what, what bird foot uses as kind of a metric for that. In any case, we did buy the ladder. It's not my favorite shop item, but it will give us a, a chance to uh, improve ourselves a little bit here. Uh, we can get an extra two cents here, for example. And there's a little bit of money in the future, I think. But we get, managed to snag an HP upgrade here, a tears downgrade and uh, nothing from the boss. So we continue to just not be gaining anything, basically. We're still basically as strong as we were. I guess we got Ghost Baby, but apart from that, we're still basically as strong as we were on the first floor. So I don't like our long-term chances mm, at all, but hopefully uh, we, we find a way to turn that around or, or make things work regardless. 
you know, I know how the razor blade works. I don't use it very often because I, I consider it to be a, a bad risk reward kind of trade off. So I, if I manage to snag a lot of health, I might that might be something I'm into. Or if we get like a little chub or something. Again, I, every time I make the mistake, if I get a little Chad, uh, it, it might be worth something. Uh, but for right now, I, I can't really see myself using the Razor in the near future because we have so little uh, health that it, you know, it would probably just end up hurting us a great deal. I also don't know how the Razor works. Oh, that was close. I don't know how it works with the uh, Spirit Heart, so I don't know if it would take our Spirit Heart instead of our regular Heart. All right, okay, well, we've got Mini Mush here. That's going to increase our speed and range. That's fine. Uh, speed upgrade is beneficial for sure. Range upgrade, mm, less so, but still somewhat important potentially. In the meantime, though, we're basically, I, I'm kind of just letting Ghost Baby handle this one because I don't want to go fight these damn greed heads who are the no most annoying enemies in the game for me. That's the problem with the catacombs. Catacombs is like entirely greed heads uh, if you manage to get a little bit of bad luck. But we're just going to play it cool here until Ghost Baby does a little bit more crowd control. This is probably the most patient I've ever been with respect to uh, a room in the Binding of Isaac, and that's good. Now it's... Oh my god, I botched it right at the end. I was like, there's only one greed head left. We might as well go for it. Tears down pill uh, doesn't interest me as much as you might expect. So I'm going to go up here to the right now, and we'll try to find something to basically get rid of this item. Uh, because I don't want it at all. Now, I do want to kill this spider. Demon baby, don't fuck around here. You could put us in a pretty terrible situation. Now, you know what? We're going to try Razor Blade. It does take red hearts. The reason I did that, obviously, to get into this room. Uh, where, sadly, we're only going to get the Magic 8 Ball. Not the most glorious upgrade uh, that I was expecting. But hey, Tears upgrade. It, it compensates us a little bit for that Tears downgrade we got earlier. And every rate of fire increase is a DPS increase on a mathematical level. I'm assuming. I'm, I'm not trying to sound smarter than I am. I'm just uh, spitting what I consider to be facts. And also, I'm not trying to use, you know, the rap game dialect. It's just the way that I grew up. Grew up on the streets of Eastern Canada. Well, not Eastern Canada. Eastern Ontario, in any case. That is also in Canada. Which you would know if you played Victoria 2 like I've been playing lately. Uh, or, you know, if you grew up in North America, hopefully. In any case, Larry Jr. is going to die. We're going to see what this tarot card is. That could make me feel a lot better about this whole situation, potentially. Empress, you know what? Certainly beats a tears down pill. Uh, if, if nothing else, uh, we're going to try not to get hit as we move throughout here. Uh, we got the same room that we've been dealing with 50 or 60 times in a row here, unfortunately. So we're going to take our sweet ass time just letting these greed heads get whittled down by Ghost Baby. If I move slightly, I might be able to get some tears in, which is going to speed things up substantially. Now, just abuse your range advantage, stay back, really don't want to take another hit against, uh, you know, a single greed head or even double greed heads. It would be pretty embarrassing. That ladder's just kind of chilling there. We're not even close to it for some reason. Uh, if these guys would die, I would be very pleased with the situation. Just let me get an HP upgrade on this floor. Or let me get Mom's knife, please. Like, I feel like I'm fighting for... Yeah, I've got so many different things that I need if we're going to make this run work. Uh, and this is why... This always... Uh, not always, but it often seems to happen with Eve. Where, you know, if you go a few floors without getting decent upgrades, this is something that is actually useful for us. Luck up. Uh, but if you go a few floors without getting, you know, upgrades that you really need, you find yourself in a damn, like, unwinnable position pretty quickly because uh, eventually it's just going to be too hard for you to beat some of the bosses that you're going to encounter on these floors. So uh, I'm not super psyched about the position that we're in right now, as you might expect. The fact that we uh, now do have the golden key means I might as well make a trip to the shop. Even if we end up fighting greed, that money could be put to good use on the next floor. Uh, but as is right now, I've really got to abuse basically every single advantage I have the opportunity to. Uh, we wanted, we have to take Birdfoot, so I'm going to take Birdfoot and uh, the Ace of Spades, which is going to increase the amount of playing cards we're going to get, obviously. Uh, the uh, blessing on this room is the fact that I have the ladder, so I do have the potential to kind of dodge these guys in an atypical way. Okay, now I've taken some damage, but I tried. I did my damnedest, absolutely, to, to save myself on that room. More red hearts, please. Well, more bombs. Um, I say we fight our boss and pop the Empress card. I think we'll be okay. Uh, this is not the ideal boss for me to fight right now. That poop is going to be real annoying. I can tell you that right now. Uh, we can feed him some bombs, though. We have ten. So, come at me, bro. Demon Baby is going to be able to get some good hits in, which is going to be excellent because I'm probably going to struggle with it. We're throwing everything we got at the wall here, basically. Uh, and if, if we manage to succeed, awesome. If we don't, uh, well, then it's going to be a short episode, unfortunately. But I, I think we're going to be fine against this boss, even though he's annoying as hell. Okay. Well, awesome. We've earned uh, half of a red heart. 
And they, <gasps> don't walk into the poop. Holy shit, that almost killed me. Literally, holy, unholy shit, I guess. Uh, it's Krampus. You know what? I can live with that. Uh, Lump of Coal is a pretty shitty upgrade to be getting at this point in the game. I was really kind of banking on the prospect of a mom's knife. What did we even get? I didn't even think about what we got from um, the boss that we just fought. I believe that was the Carrion Queen. Uh, I, yeah, I, I don't know what we just picked up. It couldn't have been great if I'm not that psyched about it. Was it the wooden spoon? Did we just snag a, a all-important speed upgrade? That was one of the bomb shots I'm most proud of. Oh, we've taken some damage. It's only half a spirit heart. It's okay. It sucks that we're out of uh, regular spirit... Or, or it's only half of a heart, I should say. It sucks that we're out of spirit hearts, though. Um, this puts us in a, a very difficult to defend position. Um, we're gonna, again, keep trying here. Um, we might as well check out our shop. We don't have a ton of money. We don't have any bombs, really, except for this one right here. Uh, which I'm gonna save for the hopeful possibility of a Tinted Rock. Uh, this is one of those runs where I guess the only way I could do better is to play better. Uh, Troll Engine has, has given me a fairly difficult uh, run of things here. Fairly dealt me a difficult hand, if you will. Uh, and, and we're just trying to do the best that we can with it. it. Seems like a common problem as Eve. Now, of course, one spike would kill us here, so I'm trying to be as cautious as possible. I kind of don't want to go to the shop because there's a decent chance we'll fight Greed. And if we fight Greed, I think there's a decent chance Greed will kill us, unfortunately. Uh, but I guess we could bomb our way out. Oh, we're not fighting Greed, and actually this does give me the chance to buy a Spirit Heart, which I'm gonna do. Steam Sale can basically go fuck itself. I'm on the, the edge of my seat right now! Uh, for better or for worse. It's exciting, but at the same time, it's also a little bit stressful, because I, I hate when these runs end super early. Like, if any run ends without me at least fighting, preferably beating Mom, then, uh... I don't know, it just it leaves a bad taste in my mouth. You heard it here first! Northern Lion, YouTube Z-list celebrity, bad taste in mouth unless mom beatings. I don't know. I'm trying to exaggerate, sensationalize the headline a little bit. Do part of the media's job for it, I suppose. Not that the media reports on me. This is all hypothetical, of course. Uh, just keep backing it up and around here. So far, so good. Obviously, uh, shop interests me, but without any kind of monetary ability, uh, oh, now that I have the nickel, never mind everything I just said. I knew we'd be fighting greed at some point. Uh, I do have sweet range, so, you know, if I'm abusing every advantage that I possibly have, I should be standing back here, uh, and firing in. There we go, we got the steam sale, good thing I didn't buy it. That could be really useful for us on the next floor, we do only have one more shop, uh, remaining, but, you know, we'll, we'll try. I, I might sound a little bit beaten down. I feel a little bit beaten down. Like, I don't have too much uh, hope that this run is going to succeed. But, you know, one really great item room could, could start to turn me around a little bit. We shouldn't face any problems here. As long as we're kind of on top of the chasm here, the uh, Eyeless Ooze guys, I guess, just don't know what to do. Uh, and we can kind of move them into pos whatever position we want to. Again, dead Birdfoot, I have no idea what causes the birdfoot to choose when to come out and when to stay home. That was uh, a game of chicken. I should not have played, and there goes some damage. That was really bad damage on my part. Balls of steel. Puberty. Worthless. One more hit could kill us. Uh, I don't know if Eyeless... Oh, shit, I almost got myself trapped there. I didn't realize there was a rock. Um, I don't know if one more hit from the ooze guys could kill us, because I'm not sure if that's... Um, they're one-heart enemies or half-heart enemies. But, uh, you know, at, at any... At any rate, uh, if I end up taking damage at all, uh, one more hit from anything will kill me, of course. Whether self-inflicted or game-inflicted, I guess, as the case might be. Only one Leaper left. No business taking damage against one remaining Leaper, even though his attack patterns are annoying. Ugh, desperately seeking item room at this point. Uh, raw liver? Something to give me some kind of raw health upgrades? Um, not a big fan of this. As you might ex- Oh my god, that was the worst. I just- I got totally, like, sketched out and, uh, I don't know, scatterbrained. But that run, it didn't work out very well for us at all. I don't know why I have so many Whores of Babylon appearing in my, uh, list there, but... You know, again, thank you to, uh, Spider Bro Alpha Zone for that challenge run suggestion. That should indicate why I hate Eve. I, you know, I can understand that there's some negativity in the comments over my play, but... Man, I- I did my damnedest. We're on the fifth floor. I got one HP upgrade. And a couple of tiers upgrades and like pageant boy speed upgrade, couldn't even take the pony, the black bean. Kind of a bad draw and bad play, which is the unfortunate Venn diagram of the situation. But hopefully you don't get too despondent. I will be back tomorrow with a new challenge run. Continue suggesting the ones that you feel are the best and I will do the ones I deem most entertaining or appropriate that I also see. And as always, thank you guys for watching, thanks for your continued support, and I will see you next time.